Hey guys, welcome to part two of the um, Zingkong wheel balancer, uh, how to use it basically. Um, this is part two. I did a part one video earlier explaining some of the operation features. And today we're going to cover um, mounting the wheel to the balancer, uh, some of the settings that um, you would need to use depending upon the type of wheel that you're, that you're going to mount and then calibrating the machine uh, before you start. Okay, I'm using a GoPro, so if you see this thing flip around a little bit, um, sorry about that, but uh, it's the way it is right now. Okay, this is the um, This is the attachment for the wheel, and the way it is right now, there's a spring here that stays always stays on, and no matter what wheel you're using. Um, now you have options. Uh, depending upon the wheel you're using, you could place the wheel right on to the um, balancer, right up against this this flange here, and then take a cone. There are several different size cones that come with the machine. And you would slide the wheel on and then slide the coat to center the wheel on there. That's one way to do it. Uh, depending upon the wheel you're using, every wheel is built a little differently, so some actually mount and fit better under different configurations. Another way to do it would be to, say, turn the cone around, put the wheel on, and then this device here is basically a pocket that goes on the outside of the wheel. That, which, that pushes it, push the wheel up against the cone. And then this here is the lock nut. It's got a quick release on it. So you would put the wheel on there, you'd release the quick release, and screw it on there. And that would push this up against the outside of the wheel and center it on the um, machine. So let's go ahead and do the first configuration here because that works best for the wheel that I'm going to use. Back of the wheel is going to be right up against the flange in the back. We're going to take this, we're going to center it. You want this tight. And you can see that um, the inside of the wheel is right up against this flat flange here. Make sure it's tight on the shaft. You can rotate it. You can see that it's turning pretty true. Okay. There's no wobble. There's no radial play where it's moving up and down. Turning pretty true on the cones. Okay. The first thing we're going to do today is turn the machine on and then we're going to look at this scale right here you have four options some of the machines have five this here is 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 the, the ST is it really doesn't mean steel it means static static balance that's no different than a bubble balancer like I have right over here uh, where you set the wheel down and you center a bubble um, that's what that is but this has two modes static balance and dynamic balance when you choose use the ALU button here aluminum when that lights up under the static balancing it means that um, you're doing a static balance when the, and when the light is off it means you're doing a dynamic balance 
go to the next mode. This is the aluminum wheel where you would put a, a stick on weight here and here in the rim. This on the outside, this on the inside of the wheel. You'd use this for this configuration where both weights are on the inside of the rim. Okay. These are stick ons. And you'd use this here um, if you have a uh, drive on weight on the outside, stick on weight on the inside. Hit it one more time. The light is all the lights are out. That means you're in dynamic mode. And for the steel wheel that I have on the machine right now, um, uh, the weights are actually drive on weights and they get drive, drive on on the outside. Um, but this mode right now is for dynamic balance, not static balance. Okay. All right. But, so we're going to go ahead. I want to show you something here in a minute. Uh, we're going to go ahead and run this up. We've, um, we've made our measurements yesterday. We'll make them again. And this says uh, nine and a half. Closer to ten. Uh, the width of it was seven. And the diameter of the wheel is a 14 inch. Okay, so now we're set up for dynamic balance. Rotate the wheel by hand, hit the start button, the wheel spins up. Now I balanced this wheel yesterday. See what happens. So we put it back on. Okay, it's saying it's a quarter of an it needs a quarter of an, of an ounce on the outside. Okay, well, just for today, today's part, we're not going to put well, yes we are. Hold on. You didn't put a quarter of an ounce on the outside. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to calibrate this machine and I want the wheel to be zero, zero. Again. Okay, so we're zero zero. All right. The reason I want to get it zero zero is because I want to show you how to calibrate this this tire machine, this balance machine. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose the C and the F mode here, and you're going to push them. And then release them, you'll see Cal, Cal. Okay. And then what you'll do is you'll go ahead and you'll spin it up. It's going to tell you to do, it's going to tell you to add three and a half ounces to the outside. So what you'll do is you'll take calibration weight that comes with the machine it's a hundred grams um, or three and a half ounces you don't use this on wheels this is strictly for calibration